little skeletons, it is Disney Queen Skella here. Welcome back to another Disneyland history. So today we are looking at the Main Street Shooting Gallery 1955 to 1962. So I actually have a funny story about how this whole thing kind of happened. So as you guys know, I write all my notes in notebooks, right? And I've been doing that pretty much since not day one of this channel, but like day one when I started getting serious with this channel. So you guys are watching this, I believe, in February. So back in November, uh, we went to a hotel for hubby's birthday, and I brought my writing stuff along because we were going to be gone for three days, and I wanted to film on the Sunday, so I wanted something, you know, to have that way, I wanted, like, just to have something written down, that way I could film, you know, a good chunk of videos on that Sunday. Well, what I didn't notice is while I was writing the uh, history down for the Main Street Shooting Gallery, I went back to the website to kind of put it on my computer and I realized I hadn't finished writing down the article. Like I literally went back and I saw that I had like half of it written down. And I was like, what the hell? Why is only half of this like existing? <laughs> so I actually had to go back and rewrite the rest of the article on a different page because art I had already started writing my next topic on the same page where the previous article wasn't finished. So I don't know like if I am, if this has a lot of cuts in it, I'm so sorry. I'm just really trying to make it work. Um, thankfully, you guys will only be seeing a picture, so you won't really see the cuts. You may hear it because maybe, maybe my voice will jump a little bit without knowledge, but we'll just see what happens. So today we will be talking about the Main Street Shooting Gallery, and I also believe we are talking about another shooting gallery along with it because, you know, this article just wanted to mention a little bit more other than the Main Street Shooting Gallery. So, I hope you enjoy and we will discuss it at the end. July 1955 to January 1962, Main Street, USA. June 1962 to January 1982, Adventureland. Location, Main Street Shooting Gallery. Guests could find the shooting gallery on the left-hand side of Main Street, USA in the space used as the Gibson Girl Kitchen today. Safari Shooting Gallery. Like the Main Street Gallery, this safari shooting gallery sat on the main drag of its respective land. The Safari Gallery building was the largest in Adventureland at the time, taking much, taking up much of the right-hand side of the walkway. Today, this building houses Adventureland's gift shop. Background. Main Street in 1955 had a lot more arcade-style games than it does today, and the Shooting Gallery was one of those most popular games on the street. With its prime location in the middle of the street, the small gallery drew major crowds and quickly became one of the most popular attractions in the park. The Safari Shooting Gallery was the Main Street Gallery's larger counterpart, with more exciting moving targets and more pistols to shoot from. Both galleries drew in crowds of all ages and brought an added level of excitement to the park. Experience Both of the shooting galleries had a simple premise. Guests would shoot at moving or stationary targets with a pistol. The Main Street Gallery had standard targets to shoot at, while the Safari Gallery had animals and other jungle-themed targets. Closure. After almost a decade, the small Main Street Gallery could no longer keep up with the demand, and the loud popping of guns didn't really fit into the land's cheerful mood. So in 1962, Disney closed the Main Street location in favor of the Safari Shooting Gallery, which opened a few months later in Adventureland. During its 10-year run, the Safari Shooting Gallery had several name changes, including the Big Game Safari and Big Game Shooting Gallery. Though it was a fairly popular attraction, the park already had a successful gallery in Frontierland with bigger firepower, and the Safari Shooting Gallery closed its doors by 1982. Trivia. Before the Frontierland Shooting Gallery changed, in, changed to infrared guns in the 1980s, all of the targets in the galleries had to be repainted each night since the bullets from the pistols chipped away at the paint throughout the day. So while this is actually a pretty cool uh, Disney history thing, because I know we have the... Oh my god, what is it? It's the, the shooting gallery in Adventureland. You guys know that one, right? That's a... Or not, it's in Frontierland. I'm sorry, in Frontierland. It's the uh, shooting expedition. Because I know we still have that, which is great that we still have something there. But in, I would actually kind of love to experience like an arcade inside of uh, Disneyland. Even though I know like the shooting gallery isn't exactly like themed well to Main Street like it said, I still would have loved to maybe experience like an actual arcade in Main Street because I know right now if you go it's not to the I don't know if it's the Emporium or if it's like next to the Emporium but one of the shops on Main Street actually has like some some things at its entrance it's the one with the uh, the fortune teller there's an electric shock machine which is really just like vibrations and it like makes your hands like completely numb like it 
what it does is you hold on to it and you feel these vibrations, which if they are electric shocks, it doesn't feel like it, but you can't let go. Like you, you have to endure it until it's done. And it's pretty, pretty cool. If you ask me, I love doing it. In fact, I think I have a video up on this channel of me doing the, the electric machine. And then there are the penny, the, oh, is it the penny arcade? That's what it's called. Holy crap. Okay. So there's the penny, um, penny movies where you plop in a penny and then you look through like these little like binocular glasses thingies and it's like a, a flip story so it's not an actual like movie movie it's pictures and they flip through them and you can see like a, a story unfolding and there's I think like four on each side so there's eight of them I think there's also a, a strength test and I think there's like one other game that I completely forgot about but in terms of like an arcade that's really all we have now in, in Main Street but I kind of wish I would have seen what else was there in terms of like an arcade was there like I don't know pinball machines maybe like I don't know just just something I would love to have known what was actually there because if it was like really like a true arcade you know they had to have had at least a good handful of games there but anyways, I thank y'all so much for watching. If you actually have any stories yourself of the Disneyland history, like, topics we talk about, let me know in the comment section down below. Like, have your grandparents been, you know, when this was all around? Or maybe, like, you know, do you know more than I do? Or do you have anything, like, you'd like to share? Please let me know. I would actually love to read it. And, you know, I'd love to see your guys' Disney knowledge as well. So I thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. And I love you guys.